Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our monthly remote show special coming to you live from Firehouse Subs, Southeastern Avenue and Rochelle, Okendo, whichever is the nearest street you want to reference. We're in front of the Walmart. Hey, look, we're now on camera. Is that 5905 wow. Southeastern, Suite 109. I knew eventually I'd get Chief to give us the address. 375. Well, Watch it. Hello to everybody in the chat room. Hey, by the way, if you, since you are all in the chat room, we'd love for you to reshare us, please, to your pages, your friends. Let us know we're here. This is our pre-Unicon post-Extreme Rules Colonel Ninichka in the house episode of Thoughts Count Anywhere. Chief, we'll start at the end. How are you tonight, sir? I'm full. <laughs> full of something. Well, that's, that's okay. Never mind. Matt, welcome back from L.A. Thank you, sir. Any crazy stories from L.A. you want to share? No, no crazy stories from L.A., but there's always crazy stories from work. Anything come to mind to share? Not really. Give me a minute. All right, we'll come back to that. And, of course, the star of today's show, gracing us with her beauty and presence, only because she's sitting right next to me and could probably kick my ass if I yeah, didn't. Well, how the hell did that happen? One of the original glow ladies, Colonel Ninuchka. Hello to all you fabulous capitalist swine. It's been the too long since I've seen you. Oh, there, see, I love when she's in that. That, that accent is just like... I'm glad she talks that way about you and I, not me. Hey, listen, with that accent, she can recite the alphabet as far as I'm and, concerned. And you have permission Chief, to hit him all you want, dear. No. Chief, I have saved special bear hug for you. For yes, Eddie. ma'am. <laughs> I greatly appreciate that. I'm telling Putin. My God, huh? you're telling who? Telling who? Putin. Oh, jeez. Oh. Putin. Now, I know your uh, cohort, Miss Colonel, uh, uh, the Royal Hawaiian, the champ herself, is probably watching in the chat room as we speak because she said that she was going to. First of all, of course, I love my Royal Hawaiian, but she is one of the champs. Of course, Nenochka is also glow champion. Very true. Very true. Yes, so April is uh, on her way to Vegas. We are so excited about doing Unicon this weekend. You will see these ladies there this weekend, October 1, 2, and 3. You said you're going to be there Friday and Sunday, correct? I'm going to be there Friday, Sunday. I'll also be half a day on Saturday. Okay, there you go. So the Colonel and April will be there. And I think I saw on Facebook that the two of you are going to have a certain surfer with you at Unicon. Is that true? Because I was going to say, because Chief's going to bring his... Uh, Otto von Klutsch. Uh, I'd just like to say in advance that Royal and I are not responsible for what Otto <laughs> might do, okay? And if last remote show is any indication, that's a good disclaimer. So Just watch, he's dancing, that's all. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, we actually <laughs> caught him dancing outside the uh, uh, firehouse subs. By the way, yeah. uh, for those of you watching, there's the address on the screen right now. If you're listening to us on the Go Live Vegas app 5905 southeastern avenue suite 109 you can call ahead 702-262-7805 for dine-in takeout curbside if you order curbside chief will actually bring it out to you he's not even listening <laughs> he's not even listening you notice this chief. Oh, hey chief we're on a show <laughs> i know <laughs> i was it's, i it's was not sports center but listen listen <laughs> I was listening. I heard him say everything about curbside, the whole nine yards. Wow. I was pulling an auto by not paying attention to him. That's all. <laughs> I heard it, and it went in this ear and it One stayed. Air and out the other. Hey, I had the chili tonight. It was delicious. I highly recommend it. There you go. Until t- <laughs> oh, Hey, no. by the way, we want to thank Don't you. worry. Uh, Ninochka can handle plenty of fire. I think, <laughs> I, I, think <laughs> I better go to the damn car and get the bell out. April, April says hello. Hi, Hi April. April. So, we, first of all, we want to thank everybody here at Firehouse Subs. Michelle, the owner, she's usually tuning in. Michelle, thank you so much. And, of course, let's give a good hand to the crew here Woo-hoo! at Firehouse Subs. They're always supportive of us every month. Wondering yeah. how we convince Michelle to do this once a month. That's why they wonder. Anyway. Sean Hyde must be watching on he his is. radio tonight. He's watching on the radio. 
<laughs> yeah, you can't make it down here, so you're watching on your radio, buddy. That's all right. I got you. Special shout out to everybody in the chat room. I want to give a shout out to Jameis, who's in the chat room. Of course, he always follows us and his very kind words regarding my book. He received it over the weekend, and I appreciate that. By the way, how much did you pay him for that comment? I'm not going to tell. Uh, I have. Right. When does the book Cancun. come out in Russian? Hey, when does it come out in Russian? When yes. you can read it right to left, upside down, and backwards. I'll so work tomorrow. on it. Hey, Jameis, I hope you're having a good day today, buddy. Actually, Seriously. You know, you know what, Ms. Colonel Nanuchka? I'll have you voice it in Russian. I'll, we'll sell the book in Russian, and you can do the voiceover in Russian. That is like you're the on. craziest <laughs> book. Make sh- hey, make sure he pays you, and it's not in rubles either. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, rubles, wait a minute. Ru- rubles or rubles? I couldn't tell. I put, <laughs> I put polygrip on my false teeth tonight, so oh. <laughs> you well, heard exactly what I said. Could you imagine walking into a Barnes & Noble and being like, oh, buy this book, and you're going to Mexico? <laughs> uh, well, but you're not being a Shanghai that to Mexico. That is wild. <laughs> buy the book. Buy the book, and you get a certificate. Looks like the video on my of phone Of authenticity. Oh, All right. <laughs> Uh, thank you, April. Appreciate it. So, yeah, basically it's pretty simple. You buy the book. I'll send you a certificate for a trip to Cancun, courtesy of iLifestyle, iLifestyles Global. And um, on Kindle or the high, hard copy, you can message me through Facebook. I'll autograph it and ship it out. Okay, enough of that. All right, let's we got a lot to go. By the way, our, our raffles today, the Colonel and the Royal Hawaiian have been kind enough to autograph some pictures when we saw them at cauliflower alley club uh, and that's our giveaways plus of course the big giveaway is our trip to cancun that we do every month as well so if you don't have a raffle ticket get a raffle ticket more raffle tickets are available for purchase and uh brandy lowry's in the house if you couldn't tell ladies and gentlemen hey uh miss mr aaron yes sir uh vicky serrato is asking where do we buy the book from vicky you can go online online what hold what up the pictures we can, you can go online uh vicky to amazon the title of my book is let my voice speak to you that's the kindle version here let me do it this way damn i look good that <laughs> there you go i don't think you get any arguments from anybody actually uh so you can buy it on amazon 6.99 on the kindle version if you do buy it there Please make sure you send me a screenshot of the purchase because I don't get any purchaser details through Kindle. Or, Vicki, you can simply message me. Thank you, Jameis. You can simply message me through Facebook for arrangements for an autographed copy if you'd like. Okay. We have a lot to talk about because on our last show on Saturday, we covered Dark Side of the Ring. We covered pre-Extreme Rules. But let's go into a couple of I Hear Voices, shall we? Chief, can you sound like a bell? Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Rumor is the angle extreme rules of Charlotte destroying Lily was to write Alexa Bliss off TV for a bit. So this way they can move on from the Lily character. Thoughts? Oh. <laughs> Can't take Alexa Bliss off TV for months. What are they doing? They're replacing She must her have pissed somebody off. They're replacing her with Hubcap. With Hubcap? Well, hu- oh, my At God. At Chief's personal request. At Chiefs, well, Hubcap got, uh, got taken out by Shayna last Thank night. Thank God. Right? We'll talk about that in a moment. Yes, we will. But I, I really thought with that segment with Charlotte and Alexa that the way she was holding the remnants of the doll, I thought all of a sudden lights were going to go out, come back up, and there she was going to be holding a new doll, like she was going to resurrect it somehow. That's what I thought. You know, I'm, I'm going to give you the real deal. Okay. I think... WWE creative writing still sucks, always has sucked, and always will suck if that's the best they can come up with as a, as a storyline to take my man's girlfriend off of TV for a couple months. Nonsense. You know, uh, I, I'm, sorry. Baker, I'm sorry. I'm that, sorry. It, it, <laughs> that's just, it's bad writing. You know, they, they can, they get paid I'm sure a good salary, and that's the best they can come up with, that they ripped the doll apart inside the ring. I was hoping she was going to come out on Monday with either, like, a fiendish-looking mask on and do something crazy, or we got the human form of Lily right then and there. 
that's a, that in the scene now that's creative right well, it sounds creative and entertaining so you know they ain't gonna do that absolutely <laughs> <laughs> oh. there it is. and my i'm not goodness. even using my three quarters halfheimers <laughs> oh my god Jameis has a message for you chief he says these are the same people that have us on an accidental rope snap. <laughs> okay. Or how you almost die from falling to... Which we'll talk about that in a few minutes. All right, let's talk about the, le- the, let's talk about the next rumor. Rumor is that Dominic... Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Dominic Mysterio could be turning heel and donning a mask, claiming to be superior to his dad. We have been seeing a little bit of... Uh, uh, dissension amongst the ranks as of late that uh, Dominic is blaming Ray for some of his losses. Folks, what do you think? Uh, this has been rumored a while, has it not? It's been rumored on and off for months. <laughs> uh, come on. There's only one Ray. And Dominic's got a long, long way to go. He's got a big shadow to get a Thank out you. of the way of, but a heel turn and possibly a feud against his father is probably something they both want anyway. But Culminating at WrestleMania, you think? I don't or, know if they can drag it out that long. Or Royal Rumble. Why not? What are we in October? Or about to be October? Yeah. So what are we going to get, like a Hell in a Cell with no Hell in a Cell matches? They can do it to then. <laughs> they could, they could, they could bring his sister back and his and the mom back, and uh, you know, one on one side, and one on the other, and uh, stretch it out. I'd like to keep my Jerry Springer on another network. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, so, but on the surface, though, realistically, do you do we think Dominic turning heel is a good thing? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, Chief. I'm still out on it. Okay. I, I like the. Piece. I, 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 you know, as far as Dominic, it would give, it would give Dominic his own persona in the ring, getting away from. Granted, he's a Mysterio, but he would then become Dominic Mysterio, not Ray's son. Right, and and I think that will have a lot to do with it, creating his own persona, which you had said before. I mean, I think Charlotte, when she first came into WWE, was always going to be Rick's daughter. Correct. Until she got enough time to create her own identity, being the, her own champion and being her own. She, she's an entity all, all by herself now. I think you'd agree with that, right, Colonel? Yeah. Um, back, to, back to Dominic, yeah. though. I like him becoming a heel, but like we're talking about him getting his own persona and everything. And so you start by putting on a mask. Uh, but that, that I'm not goes, crazy ah, about that. No, but that goes back to the old throwback of the uh, Lucha Libre style, which, of course, yeah. what Ray, you know, what Ray is. Right. You know. <laughs> well. Now that's creative writing, right there. Hey, I, I, I like. I see. I like my group, my man here. Breaking news: WWE changing the Extreme Rules name to Vanilla Rules. LOL. Thank you, James. <laughs> Jameis. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. A lot of talk about whether that name itself should be dumped. But, okay, let's move on. Let's talk about the matches from Extreme Rules. Do um, we have to? Well, yeah. We are, we, we are responsible journalists. Do, do, do. So we'll, we'll cover t- a couple of them. Ding, and then, ding, ding. Uh, then we'll uh, give away our first raffle. All right, pre-show, Liv Morgan defeated Carmella. Thoughts? Liv gets the push finally. That's what I said to Matt. And uh, or I asked Matt, and um, I'll pay, I will defer to Matt and let Matt talk on it. I think Liv Morgan's hopefully going to get the push he finally deserves and earned after all the crap they've put her through in the last couple of years. Commentators tired of seeing the four horse women doing everything. Push somebody else for once. Commentators made a big mistake in this match. They said that, th- that this win was the biggest win of her career on a pay-per-view. L- why are we forgetting that she beat Natalia at a WrestleMania? Why have we forgotten that? Why, why is creative not mentioning that, that she beat Natalia at WrestleMania? Why do you... Why WWE do you, can't keep their storyline straight week to week. That, that's a good point. So, anyway, so Liv Morgan gets the win. Now we get on to the main card. The New Day defeated Bobby Lashley almost in AJ Styles. 
You know, I was talking to somebody earlier about stale storylines. Uh huh. There's a stale storyline that needs to go away. That right there. Okay. Okay. Need, something else needs to come about. So, Colonel, but out of that last night on Raw, we did see that Bobby Lashley um, and perhaps the Hurt Business with Shelton Benjamin mm -hmm. and Cedric Alexander now are back in business may just be enough of a twist like Chief is talking about because now you're going to have the three of them officially more than likely going up against New Day officially in a six-man. Thoughts on that? Um, i got to stick with New Day. Uh, okay. They got Big E. They got the heavyweight champ, so why not, right? Yeah. So it makes sense to me. It's kind of crazy. They're making a big deal of Big E, the new WWE champion, but lets it up his match during the pre-show of the pay-per-view. <laughs> exactly. And why is a WWE champion in a freaking six-man tag to begin with? Creative. Because it's exciting. <laughs> That's right. Their pencils don't even have points uh, on them. Here, you, you, want, you want a new storyline? You want a new storyline? Have somebody come up and start tagging with the Usos, and the Usos become a six-man tag team. Well, I wonder who that might be. I don't know. Because I heard WWE had a real freaking long meeting about what they're going to change his name to. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> That's what I heard, too. My goodness. Okay, next match. The Usos defeated the Street Profits to retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles. No brainer. The bloodline is not losing anytime soon. No, they're not going to lose until Roman drops the belt somewhere, somehow, someplace. Uh, but I thought it was a good match. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it about a solid 7 to 8. For yeah, that was definitely brutality, one of the better nothing matches. Else. It was entertaining. I'll right? give you that. Yes. All right. Charlotte Flair, as we talked about before, defeated Alexa Bliss to retain the Raw Women's Championship belt and totally annihilated Lily. <laughs> Why you got to mess with Lily like that? I know. <laughs> that doll did nothing to her. Well, obviously it wasn't. Listen, the, the title change, I don't think, was going to happen anyway. Right? I don't think anybody was surprised by Charlotte retaining. I was really hoping Alexa was going to win that. And you would think in her, home, in her home city, right, Columbus is where she's from, that maybe they would have done a solid or given her something a little more positive, yeah? I, was, I think you're right, though. Um, we kind of expected that outcome. But, God, it would have been great to be surprised. Sure. Wouldn't it have been? You mean a swerve? I'm still really upset, though, about Lily. I, I Are have, you, I'm you, having problems with that. Did you order a Lily doll? I think Matt has one. Can, can it was on the set. No, I, I, I know uh, it was. You know, I actually have an Otto Von Clutch doll. And, uh, Wait a minute, are you trying to compare an Otto Von Clutch plush doll to a Lily doll? Yeah, actually. They both are wow. probably possessed. I like to play with boy dolls. <laughs> Wait a minute, you say that again? I like to play with boy dolls. Oh. Can, can That's I not order, this I'll, kind of show. <laughs> can I throw a curveball and ask a question? Why not? Yeah, let's ask questions on the talk show. Why you has want my Otto Von Clutch doll? No. no. No, I already have one. Thank you very much. Uh... Why has Natalia never, her, never held the championship? She had the Divas Championship. No, 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 no. Nope. She uh -uh. was a SmackDown Women's yeah, Champion. Yeah, I was going to say, she, had, she did have one of them. The Sorry. Tag Team Champion. No, she had she the She was a singles. SmackDown Women's Champion. When? Like two years ago. For one second. It was a couple seconds like in a row. But she's... But she's... <laughs> not. He's smart. <laughs> No, she doesn't, but, and, that, and that's and, a travesty. And she, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to be realistic and real here. That lady, we, we've talked in the past about wrestlers who have carried the company during COVID, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, here's my question. Why didn't they, um, why didn't they ever keep it on her, I wonder? You know, she's done a lot for that company. Yeah, I, I totally agree. She deserves a lot better recognition uh, than she's gotten over the years. I mean, she had the tag titles with um, Snuka. Yes, right? with Tamina. For, for, You're with Tamina absolutely for a while. right. Um, but, of course, uh, then she got injured, right? She hurt her knee a few she months ago. Over there. Right? Thank you. She hurt, she hurt her knee a couple yeah. of weeks ago or a couple of, week, uh, couple of months back, Natalia yes. did. Yes. So that may have taken a little steam out, but I agree. I mean, 
for what Natalia does to teach other wrestlers, which is why Liv went over on her at WrestleMania a year, whatever it was. I think it was last year when they were in the lockdown. Okay, she got the win. She gave her the the prop. She does not get her just desserts in the WWE, and that's a shame. That's a, that's a shame that she doesn't. I, I agree. She should. Well, true. yeah, that, that's true. For those who don't know, and, and what Garth, Garth Wall here, uh, sponsor uh, of our show um, through Finley Mazda and also big sponsor, Unicon, this weekend, he mentioned, it, he mentioned uh, sitting off to the side that Owen Hart and the Hart family is now all elite. And uh, maybe perhaps there's an issue there. That, and that would be a shame. I, I think we have a conflict with the Glow Girls, too. Uh, uh, April doesn't. Yeah. April's glad that Lily got tore up. Yeah, she's happy about she, that. She is. She she's is. dancing the hula. In she that is. case, that's why we brought the A Glow girl here. But not you the know, other. April just <laughs> loves to rip up anything. You know, pineapples, uh, dolls, yeah, coconuts. All right, Jameis, your question about uh, what Chief's opinion is on the Keith Lee Bearcat name, it's actually on our sheet to talk about in a little bit. We'll get to that. But let's do this. Let's give away our first raffle, shall we? Our first signed. <laughs> My gosh. All right, we're going to give away one of the autographed signed pictures here of our colonel, the beautiful Colonel Ninochka. Ninochka. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. This way you all can yell at me. There you go. So bring the bucket on over here when you're ready, sir. Employees of Thoughts Count Anywhere are not uh, eligible to win. I like how he's just now tearing the tickets apart. All right. Are we ready yet? Because my... Okay, the current come behind us. The colonel's come behind us. The colonel's gonna pick for the winning ticket. Okay. Read it away. Give us the last three on the red ticket. The last three. The lucky winner of that absolutely fabulous, gorgeous picture is five zero eight. Five zero eight. Who's got it? And the crowd goes wild. That's right. Woo! Right down in the front row. Shut up, he said employees, I think. I didn't hear about family members. Here Yay, you go. We have a winner. Pass this down to the winner. We trust you. Thank you. Jeez, thank you. All right. So that's one. Let's see. Samuel Weissman says hello to you. Hi, Samuel. Uh, what else we got here? All right. Let's keep going on with the Extreme Rules card. Damian Priest defeated Sheamus and Jeff Hardy to retain. I thought that was also a very good, good match. I like that match. Did good you, match. Did you read Jameis's comment? I did. <laughs> I certainly did. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a conspiracy. Anyway, let's talk about the triple threat All for right. the United States Championship. I thought it was a solid match. I thought it was a nice sign of Damian Priest to acknowledge Jeff Hardy. I don't know about you, but I, I had a few inklings where I thought maybe Hardy was going to actually become the new champion. So did I. I thought he was going to pull it off for a minute, but they're pulling, they're pushing Damian Priest real hard. So I figured he, it was good to see him retain. I hope he has a good long run with the belt. What about Seamus doing the Jeff Hardy on top rope? I wonder why the top rope didn't fall then. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because the same she, turn ball. Because Seamus' nose was broken already. He's only like Supposed 150 pounds supposedly. heavier. Supposedly, you know. I mean, and then I believe uh, Damian and Sheamus had a rematch last night, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Damian beat his ass again. Damian beat him again. All right. Yes. Becky Lynch retained the SmackDown Women's Champion because of outside interference from a returning Sasha Banks. So is that going to be a three-way match now, Matt? What's that, Chief? What do you think? Three-way match coming up Oh, now? I think so. If we don't uh, see a triple no threat now. No doubt about that. See, WWE doesn't need all this creative... Uh, Thing. We can figure it out right here. Exactly. Speaking of vanilla okay. rules, we did have a DQ at Extreme Rules. <laughs> yeah. That makes a whole lot of sense. Who? Who? 
Yeah, it's uh, it, listen. If you anybody, listen. Even even Stevie Wonder could have seen could have seen the writing on that wall. I mean, come on. Right for those three to now enter a triple That's threat. Some big match. writing. You know. Yeah, exactly. All right, and last but not least, gentlemen and ladies, Roman Reigns defeated the Demon in the main event, notwithstanding a very questionable turnbuckle collapse. They literally killed the Demon character. You know, you, you know, you would, you would think a billion dollar corporation with all the people they have working for them would check the ring, uh, the ropes, the turnbuckles, the whole nine yards before the show ever starts, so something like that wouldn't happen. Well, we've seen the, the ring collapse a few times. when. Some, well, that was heavy weight. Well, I was going to say, when some hefty beef has been in the ring off the top rope. You know, that was freaking typhoons. That was <laughs> I mean, uh, Big Show. Yeah. It was only great because he, like, stood there for, like, a good 30 seconds, like, trying to rock, like, the thing loose or whatever he was trying to do. Exactly. And then he landed on the middle rope, and then he fell over, so he legit died falling two feet. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I agree with you. Also, when was the last time somebody's theme song played in the middle of the match to revitalize a particular participant? You know? The I almost turned it off. Ba I mean, Balor's theme song started playing, and he started convulsing on the floor like his heartbeat. And I just, I don't know. A little hokey. All I'm, right, so I'm going to do my rant right now. Okay. Tony Khan for president. Then we'll go to break after the rant. Wrestling shows, <laughs> WWE, AEW, ROH, New Japan, Impact. There's five major companies right there. Out of, I would think out of one of you, you need to put a damn women's show on. I'm going to keep saying it and saying it and saying it until it happens. Okay? There's a love good quality women wrestlers out there that there needs to be a two-hour women's show strictly women wrestling and i'll bet you it'll be better than the men as long as we can watch jim Cornette review it right after it's over that rather, will be more freaking entertaining I'd than anything have, i'd rather have jerry springer Oh hey, my Chief. goodness. Yes, ma'am. You know how Fox has that new singing show where the, the, the singers are backstage and they only show the avatars, right? Yes, So I'm pushing for a new women's wrestling show where my avatar <laughs> <laughs> can go kick some ass in the ring. There you go. There you go. And I'm going to keep advocating for it. All right. On that note, let's step aside for a quick break from some of our sponsors. You are watching our monthly remote show here at For Thoughts Count Anywhere, coming to you live from Firehouse Subs. Colonel Ninichka joins us, Advance of Unicon, and we'll find out not only about what she's going to be doing there, but uh, Bertie told us that she's involved in some uh, costuming uh, stuff as well to help some entertainers out. We'll learn more on the other side of the break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. All right. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast ever. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much needed life saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get girth today at the Valley Auto Mall. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Come to you live from Firehouse Subs 5905 Southeastern Avenue. You still have time to get down here. We got about another 30 minutes while we're still on the air. Come down, get some great food, get involved in raffles, get some signed autograph pictures, and a chance to win a trip to Cancun. 
Do your best Dominic Toretto impression and get down here. <laughs> 5905 South Eastern Avenue, Suite 109, sir. There you go. All right, that's Chief. Matt is here. And, of course, to my right, your left on the screen, the lovely Colonel Ninuch. Have I, is my pronunciation of your name getting better? Not even close. Damn. Ninochka. Nin- I don't know why it's so difficult for I you. don't, because I'm from Jersey. We don't know how to say shit. That's why. Ninochka. And I'm from Jersey. Yeah, well, so, you're from, so so about you're from North Jersey. Right. You're, so, for, right, you're from South Camden. That's all they know down there. And, hey, don't you worry about it. We had a world champion from South Camden by the name of Buddy Rogers. I know. So, uh, I know that. We all so, remember yeah, what I had Fra- said. But so. I had Frank Sinatra. That's all. Shit. All right. We're going to give away another raffle prize right now. As you can see here that I'm holding up a signed autograph picture of one Royal Hawaiian, April Ham. And Thomas is going to come around. And, Colonel, do the, do the duty again. This way they can't yell at me. While we're waiting, evening, Lou, how you doing tonight? And uh, is Jabroni, Sh- Sean, my, Sean? Okay, can I have a drum roll, please? Brrr. Brrr. And the winner is... Five, one, three. Might be. Yeah. All right. Who's that one? Who's that one? Is <laughs> All right. We can we can donate pictures back if you'd like. <laughs> she wants a pair. All right. She wants. There we go. All right. She's collecting the whole set. That's right. I am. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There we go. I'll give them away after the show. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chief. She just gave you the finger. Yeah, I don't I know, know what that means. She always does. All right, let's get into the WWE report. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. You're welcome. Ronda Rousey announced the birth of a daughter. I wish I could say her name, but it had more consonants and vowels than I think we had in the entire alphabet. Yeah, I agree. But Ronda Rousey and uh, her husband are now parents. Uh, do you think we're going to ever see her back wrestling again? No. What was her name? What was the baby's I have, name? I honestly, it, I'm telling you, it was... It's a lot. Okay. anti disestablishment uh, no, no. I don't know. I mean, I'm, be, I'm being realistic. I was just wondering. I hadn't... Uh, I'll pull it up for you. It's, I, I don't even know how I to pronounce it, I actually do honestly. think we'll see Ronda Rousey back. All right, so, so the colonel thinks yeah. Ronda will be back. I'll yeah. tell you what. If you pull up the name and anybody in this room can properly pronounce it, I will also give them a trip to Cancun. Can I take my false teeth out? No but pressure. You gotta, but you got to say it right. Not that, not that I know what it is to know if it's right or wrong. But it's got to sound credible. All okay. right. So I did a show. Say it with confidence. It don't matter what you I did a show with saying. Rhonda okay. uh, for Reebok. Oh, very and cool. This was back when she was still fighting, fighting. Okay. And she just is, she loves her training. And okay. I mean, fighting is just in her blood so much. But do you think, though, becoming just, a mother might dampen that a little bit? Because, you know. I don't think so. No? So you I think, don't she'll think so. she'll be back? She'll be I the definitely edge. think she'll be back. Okay. All right. Hold Miss, no Miss, uh, Miss April, I wished you were here so you could really pronounce this correctly. All right, so we'll, we'll, I don't want anybody shouting names out. We'll, we'll get it figure out to have everybody take a shot at naming it. Wow. So. No matter what this girl's name is, she's going to know how to armbar a grown-ass man by the time she's three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. That should be her nickname, armbar. That's all. Just nickname. Okay, now, Jameis asked this question earlier in the chat room. Thoughts on Keith Lee coming back as Bearcat. And Chief, I'll give you the opportunity. You're going to be the sole answerer on this question. Folks, there is only one Bearcat in professional wrestling. Keith Lee. And it's not Keith Lee. Okay? It is a gentleman by the name of Bearcat Wright. Y'all can go in and look him up. All right? Bearcat Wright. Back he didn't invent the airplane. Back in the day, <laughs> all right, and that's and that's when we were. So that's when we watched it on the radio, cousin. okay. But that's the only Bearcat professional wrestling. It sure as hell ain't Keith Lee. And why they ever brought it up or thought about it for Keith Lee, I don't understand. Because he had a good gimmick before he left, and he should have had the same gimmick when he came back. But that's WWE's creative writing, and we'll just leave it at that for tonight. At least they cleaned up his ring gear. As long as Adam Cole ain't his manager. <laughs> that was the dumbest. I wonder who's going to get stuck with that nonsense. Vince. <laughs> it's cre- 
But at least he's got. At least he came back last night with traditional looking ring gear, right? Not the cheerleader like outfit skirt he, looked, he had on he or whatever. He looked good last night. Yeah. But he but he's not Bearcat. That's fair enough. You know, there's there's only one Bearcat. I'm sorry. All right, one more one more topic I want to ask, and then I want to talk to the Colonel about this weekend for Unicon. Is a hurt? Looks like the hurt business, as I mentioned earlier, is back in business. Good or bad, gentlemen? It, uh, it's I, I, good, but random as hell. Yeah, like what they was run the, out of sh- stuff to do? And that's probably one of the reasons why they did it with MVB out nursing a knee injury. Maybe I don't know. That's a good point. Well, I guess you have two more wrestlers that uh, are wrestling now that aren't sitting back in uh, the food area eating and not doing anything. <laughs> right. That's you know. Then it begs the question: Why break them up in the first place? But we know well, what, we know why. Creative, right? Buy the shirt at thoughtscanandanywhere.com. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to start wearing that damn thing on this show. All right. Let's turn our attention I'm to, the, to, SummerSlam. To, the, <laughs> to the Colonel. All right. So let our fans know this weekend at Unicon, October 1, 2, and 3 at the World Market Center. When you're going to be there, what you're going to be, you're going to be signing, I guess, taking pictures, talk about what you and April will be doing this weekend. Right. So April's going to be there all three days. I'll be there Friday, Sunday, the whole day. Saturday, um, I have a, re- uh, a rehearsal, so I won't get there until like 2 o'clock. Okay. And what are we rehearsing? I am rehearsing. I'm a choreographing a flash mob for Halloween the, for Thriller. For who? Where's it going to be? Where's, I know flash mobs generally are, you know. You I, can, no, it's in a private community. Oh, very yeah. cool. But it's, it's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> very, that's cool. That's very good. Am so I invited? What's that? I said, am I invited? Absolutely. Thank you, dear. It's a gated Absolutely. community. I get to see a Karen running out. Oh, my God, turn down the music. Yeah, I'm doing it with my good friend, uh, Deb Stefana, who uh, has, like, she's older than me, and she's still breaking records for uh, weightlifting. It's really? awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Here in Nevada. Sweet. Yeah, she just broke some records. So. Well, maybe we ought to get her into the studio one time and yes. display. <laughs> Put, put Chief or Matt in a headlock or something. No, bring oh, yeah. Otto in. Bring Otto in to be demonstrated on. <laughs> that would be <laughs> funny. All right, so you're going to be signing autographs, taking pictures. Is that what you guys are going to be Absolutely, doing? Absolutely, yeah. Full glow. And then we got, uh, you know, uh, April have her T-shirts and all kinds of stuff. So, so you get some but good glow merchandise. Glow merch. Glow merch. And here. Speaking of glow merch, because yes. I know you were going to talk to me about what I'm doing. Yes. And we're not going to have it ready for this show. Okay? But that's but okay. You see this great picture. Uh, Mike LeBlanc yep. has done like 28 glow girls, all this, this fantastic uh, artwork. Okay. And we're working on getting it printed on fabric and making some really cool uh, new apparel wear that's going to be coming out. Very good. Not quite awesome. ready for Unicon, but stay tuned. It's and, coming. And where will it be uh, available for purchase? Well, we're going to do it online, but then okay. also we'll have it at all our shows. Online through what site or? Notchka. Oh, that is it. my new label. Only. If oh, I just happen to have it on my chest. Oh. Yeah, so it's like. <laughs> Stop, you guys. He's looking at the letters, I swear. You guys go the wrong place all the time. Just okay. to, that's our so show. it's oh. Nochka. Welcome to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's Nochka. It's not Ninochka, but it's Nochka. Nochka. Oh, my God. You can't even say that right. N O T. Aren't you a teacher for the Clark H-K-A. County School District? <laughs> yeah, but, I, but I'm elementary. <laughs> He's a They're just learning letters, not how to pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so you know what? Why we're holding this one up? What do you say we give this one away? All right, the crowd is Can just I guess the winner? overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need well, my drum roll. You know what? We have the lid over there. Why don't you put the lid on the bucket? Yeah. Give it a good shake with the lid on. Go put the lid on there. What? You think I'm not shaking it enough? No, I think you shake you think just I'm fine. Not shaking it enough? I think you mm, shake just that's fine. That's what you say. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. There you ah, go. All right. God. Now. Now, that's making me hungry for popcorn. <laughs> Good. All right, here we go. For the Nenuchka, mm. the Colonel's picture. 
This ticket was hermetically and sealed in a mayonnaise jar in the porch of Funk and Wagnall. <laughs> and the winner is. is you know. uh, so it's oh, wow. Ten. Two no. right in a row. No, don't read it. Don't read it. 514. No, Garth got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's right. I, yeah, exactly. I don't think we. I don't. Th I don't think the tra the raffle tickets were transferable. Oh, those are your tickets. Yeah. <laughs> well, how did that work out for you? Oh yeah, yeah. My Wonder goodness. Wonder if someone right. put like tape. You on know, the side Aaron's of Aaron's just still a little sore about raffles because he didn't win that great belt from uh, Cauliflower Alley. Yeah, who won Alley. that, by the way? Who won that? I'm not telling you because you might go after them and try and get that. Yeah. No, nope. somebody locally. Mm. Did you win it? No, oh, I okay. didn't win. I wasn't in it, and you, April didn't win. You know, uh, so who won it? I want to. I want to bring up the uh, April. You're in the chat room. Who won the belt? Don't tell him, April. I want to know who run the belt. I want to bring something else up. Go ahead. That the dear Colonel. Okay, so April says, oh, that's back to Ronda Rousey. Yeah. The, the dear Colonel. Yes, sir. Is if you need ring gear and you're a professional wrestler, you need to contact her because she does fantastic, fantastic. Costume design. Well, thank you, Chief. And uh, I think it's about time, you s being that you live here in Vegas, and we have a lot of wrestlers here in Vegas, uh, and they're always you always see them. Do you know somebody that can do ring gear or a jacket or whatever? They need to start possibly touching base with you to help them design ring gear and make it for him. Well, thank you for that. And that reminds me, when I was at Cauliflower Alley, I got a chance to talk with uh, Gorgeous George, and we talked. She's doing costumes now, too. Really? So, yeah. So uh, we are going to hopefully be collaborating on oh. some stuff. Yeah. One of my awesome. friends down in Texas is in the chat room, Billy Ball, who, by the way, co-hosts a great show with Nate Miller out of Texas, The Basement Show. They talk about all sports. So Billy wants to know, who does the costume design? The Colonel does. The Colonel Billy. does. So yeah. how can how can folks get in touch with you about information on costume design or because you, I know Chief did a great job talking about wrestling, but you have family lineage in costume design. Yes. Yes. So give a very brief history of that, and we're talking more than just wrestling gear. Well, you know, uh, Nanochka started out as a prof uh, professional, as a uh, competitive figure skater. So my mom started making skating costumes. She just self-taught herself how to sew, uh, to make skating costumes to pay for my lessons. And then we moved to Vegas, and it grew, and uh, we had the pleasure of doing the uh, Tarkanians UNLV, the heydays. We did the cheerleading costumes oh, for wow. them. Uh, we do all the shows. I've been fortunate to work uh, for the last like 30 years for the company that does all the carnival cruise lines worldwide and thank God the cruises are coming back. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, so we're all getting busy, but I've done a lot of like the big feathered showgirl hats and backpacks and um, Done all kinds of stuff. So if somebody know. wants to get information about that, how do they reach out to you? Very carefully. I did, I, yeah, very carefully. <laughs> I didn't mean to stump you with a hard I question. Did. I did. You know what? Because I. Um, okay, so Nanochka is amazingly talented that. at many things, but uh, social media is not one of them. So I'm I'm kind of just getting the Nochka. So do you have website. an email address in the meantime? I do. So why don't we just give that? Okay. <laughs> Lori. Well, okay, it's Lori Palmer Designs at Gmail. So Lori L O R I P A L M E R designs with an s at gmail.com all right there you go so if you want to get information about having something designed in a costume genre then the colonel is the one to reach out to good job maybe in the next time you come back you'll take some you bring some pictures of some of your work if you have or something i do because I, I think yeah. it'd be great to see i some have of the some work. pictures and next time i'll try and bring an actual right. costume perfect but uh luckily it's so wonderful to be busy again yeah right 
Yes. Absolutely. Good job. Well, we look forward to it. Okay, a couple more items under the WWE report. Ding, ding, ding. ding, ding. Big E defeated Lashley in a still cage match last night. And then uh, the champ, Big E, was confronted by Drew McIntyre since he can now challenge for the WWE championship. So Drew McIntyre now back in the main event picture. So is Drew going to get finally get a, a chance of winning a winning a belt again and uh, possibly go before a, uh, a live crowd of uh, some semblance of 30 or 40,000 people to get his just due now? I'd like to see nah. that happen, but I think it, I think Big E's going to hold the title a little bit other than just a month or two, in my opinion. But Matt? I think the confrontation was just a confrontation. I think Drew McIntyre is going to get drafted to SmackDown, and he'll be the challenger for Roman after he beats Brock Lesnar. Interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting thought. I like that concept. I like that. All right, we talked about this pre-show. Uh, much to Chiefs' chagrin, Shayna Baszler <laughs> took out Eva last night. Yes. Freaking, freaking hubcap is gone. So Thank God. We are seeing Shayna Baszler, the return of the Queen of Spades. She took, out, she took out Nia Jax last week on the steps with her elbow, and now this week took out Eva. What do we see in the cards for Shayna coming down the pike? Hopefully she's going to get her just due and get a push like Liv. Uh, okay. You know, um, bring some new blood in um, that, that are going to get pushes and uh, maybe change some of the atmosphere, atmosphere on uh, Raw and SmackDown. She should finally get the title that she should have got like two years ago. Which title would you have her win and go up against? Yeah, yeah but, don't, but don't you think that that storyline still has a way, ways to go with Bianca, though? Bianca uh, and Becky? I'd like now to add Sasha? I'd like, to, <laughs> I'd like to see her beat Roman Reigns myself. Shayna beat Roman Reigns? Hell yeah. I'd pay for that. That's interesting. Interesting take on Just that. Just to make a statement, I want to see her demolish Charlotte. I'm okay with that, too. Me, too. All right, there you have it. Clean... <laughs> Pretty much a clean sweep. All right. The WWE draft starts this Friday. And Chiefs be, getting drafted. And that'll be, <laughs> to that'll be this. To AARP. Yes. That'll be, <laughs> that'll be this Friday and Monday for the draft completion. We'll see. Any, get, all right. What? So are we, under, it out. are we under the impression that McIntyre will be going to SmackDown? Is that everybody's feeling? I think yes. that's one of the top draft picks for sure. Okay, so if McIntyre goes to SmackDown, who from SmackDown is going to go to Raw? What poor individual is that going to be? <laughs> Who's he pissed at, right? Yeah, what who do you is think? Vince pissed at at the moment? That's probably let's face it. going to Raw. Kevin Owens? Yeah, there you go. All right, I'll buy that. I still think Steen Kill Steen shirts are going to be very popular in December. Uh, my friend Billy Ball, who's in the chat room, she asks, is uh, Joe Buck going to announce the draft again? <laughs> uh, please God, no. Hey, Vince, if you guys are watching my phone, give me a call. I'll be happy to announce it. Give me a call. Anyway. Um, all right. We haven't talked about Dark Side of the Ring this Let's past not. week. Cr Let's not? No, I'm Chris joking. Canyon? I'm joking. Okay. Whew. Chris Canyon episode. Brutal. Thoughts? Brutal, Garth, brutal in what way? Okay. Behind the scenes, right? Right. So, yeah, so what was going on at that time, I totally agree, uh, society was not accepting of it. And then the ultimate result being is that he took his life because of the pressure and the scrutiny, and you could see his ebb and flow in life. Um, the, the big thing there is the comments that John Cena made on Howard Stern about him being fired because he was not good or looked at as a cover-up. And then it was Ric Flair getting a lot of heat initially the next day for basically duplicating and agreeing with Cena, and yet Flair's name was, was taken through the mud first for that. 
So your thoughts on... I tried to speak on it yes. Saturday. Yep. Um, Matt wasn't with us, so and, I, and, I didn't... And do, a, uh, do it justice. Yep. But I am so thankful that Otto called in and spoke eloquently about it. And uh, I'm not even going to try to recap what he said. Okay. Um, Go back and watch last week's show, folks. That's the best thing to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, yes. Matt, you know what? You, you were not with us on Saturday because you were out in L.A. busy. So what, what were your thoughts on that episode? Did you have a chance to watch it? First yeah, of all? it was okay. a really good episode. It was sad to see what he had to go through, like, through his life and the ultimate, like, taking his own life. Because if he was born, like, ten years later, no one would bat an eye or care if he was gay or not. It was just... Do your thing, bud. Right. And today, it obviously, it's more accepted, but society, what it was 20 years ago, True. very, very, very different. Okay. You know, you know, the one comment that I do remember I made is nobody thought anything about Pat Patterson. Can you give me the bucket? Pat Patterson, I think we talked about that very briefly. We but did. We he, did. He came out in, what, the 90s, though, officially, right? Yes. Oh, okay. All yes. right. Yes. It was just like after, like... He sued WWE and all that. Vince sent a bunch of people to do interviews, basically bashing him to toe the company line. That's pretty much all that was. Exactly. Everybody yeah. that ever like dealt with him knew what a good wrestler and stuff he was. So yep. I think Flair and Nasina were just doing what they were told. But no matter what anybody says, everyone has a right to their opinion pretty much. So trying to cancel John Cena, I don't think there's like certain people I think are pretty much untouchable. You know, as somebody unless John Cena kicked a baby on live television. As somebody put in the uh, chat room Saturday, uh, everybody has the right to uh, First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, and I agree with you, Matt. All right, we have about well, we have less than ten minutes left in our time here, so let's give away our last signed picture. And then we will give away the Cancun trip. After we give this picture away, though, we'll touch on very briefly the last few items we have. Give away the trip. There you go. There's the signed picture there. Of the I would Royal like to Hawaii. bet my paycheck on the winner. <laughs> All right. So Aaron E. comes out from behind the board over there. He's bringing the tickets for the colonel to select the winner. And it's oh, twenty dollars. Sorry, that's mine. Okay. Hell yeah! <laughs> and the the number is five thirty four. <laughs> different winner. <laughs> we we got a different winner, Johnny. There you go. Someone else. Pass that down there. Very good. All right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't my wife. <laughs> well, he only won because he was sitting at the table with Liz. That's the thing. Or in the oh. near neighborhood. All right. Let's go over a couple of these last few items here. We'll give away the trip to Cancun, and then we'll wrap up here. Will Bray Wyatt debut tomorrow night? That's the question. Yes or no? Real quickly. I hope so, but like, what version of Bray Wyatt is, is going to debut? Is that that's in Buffalo? Is correct? Rochester. Rochester, the hometown of Brody Lee. Um, you want to take odds? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so I got a yes and a yes, depending upon what version. Colonel, what do you think? Do you think Bray Wyatt will be making his debut tomorrow night? I do not think so. All right, and just for the. He I, I'm going to go, and even the odds, I will side with the colonel, and we'll just say two and two here at the panel. Well, All if right. it's anything like your football predictions, you're wrong. Hey, I was 3-0 and on Saturday, <laughs> sir. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was 3-0, and by the way. Yeah, okay. That wasn't the pick I made, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm 5-1 and one over the two weeks. We won't hold okay, that against Okay, Adam you. Cole. Adam Cole. <laughs> Adam Cole will take on Jungle Boy and Miro versus Sammy Guevara for the TNT Championship. I thought Miro, I thought Miro already wrestled Sammy. No, no. Right. He, Fuego del Sol he wrestled. 
That's going to be a killer match. Okay. So does Miro retain? All right. The thing is, I need to. All right. Why are we whispering here on camera? We telling secrets? I'll never tell. I'm conferring <laughs> with. Oh, you're conferring? I'm conferring. Okay. I, my three quarters half Heimer. So does Adam in. Cole beat Jungle Boy? Give me a winner. Jungle Adam. Boy. Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy. The house is split. Miro versus Sammy. Who wins? Sammy. Miro. Miro. Sammy. Okay, again, Sammy. We, have an, we have another split. Bound for Glory tickets are now on sale for the October 23rd show at Sam's Town. Preseason hockey is going on tonight. Who, what do we have? Do anybody, does anybody know the score? Who are the Knights, pl Who are the Knights playing tonight? Colorado. All right. Knights playing Colorado. Ran, uh, the Knights are up 2-1 to one into the first period. Go Blackhawks. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Has been called in to look for Brian Laundry. Exactly. He's searching for the next A&E special. Hey, don't dog the dog. I love dog. All right, Billy down in Texas is predicting Sammy will be the new champ and Jungle Boy will beat Adam Cole. That's my friend Billy in the chat room. All right, this Saturday, Unicon. We've talked about it quite a lot. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. World Market Center, if you need more information, go to unicon.vegas. Everybody you see here on the panel will be there. Uh, go Live Vegas will be there for the weekend. Garth will be there. Thomas Burnett will be there. Plus, he will be helping me sell my books. You can get a copy of my book this weekend. Brandy now will be there. Recorded. Brandy will be there to back him up just in case. Uh, April, now, April said she lost some picture. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. It could be the feed, so hopefully it'll... If she, uh, April, if you can, April, if, since you're still listening, if you can go out of the video and come back in, it might refresh. Okay, uh, and then from what I found out before the show, Garth himself, the sponsor, he is going to be co-hosting a panel discussion with none other than a Hall of Famer, and I don't mean just me, but Jake the Snake Roberts. If it was, if it really? was, if it wasn't for me. Knowing Jake, Garth would be irrelevant. <laughs> All right? That's simple. That's, that's simple. Well, I guess it's a good thing I will be on stage with him to help him help him be relevant. Oh, so, I'm excited about that. I hope he breaks that. Damien and throws it at you. It takes two of you, huh? Uh, well, listen. You know what? Jake the Snake deserves more than two people to be working with him. That's for sure. We're the, we're the honored two. That's for sure. Okay, with that, I think we've covered, finally, everything on our run sheet for the first time in about a month and a half. So with that, let's give away the grand prize for, for a trip to a compliment. I have to, I have to be careful with my wording. It's a complimentary trip to Cancun. Well, all you have to do is get there and get home. The winner is... It better be one of those three employees back there, I That's swear. That's right. Yeah. And if Liz wins it, she has to give it away. <laughs> and the winner is... Hold it. Wait a minute. What are your numbers back there? Sorry, I don't think you're... No, I don't, I don't think they're... Well, I don't know. I can't see the numbers. It's 499. 499. Well, now, wait a minute. Brand, Brandy... Brandy. Well, yeah, it's true. You did win the last time. So, so. I thought you weren't allowed minute. back in Mexico. Uh, oh, my God. Mexico is shut down, I think. Now. No, now, I thought minute. Brandy wasn't allowed. No, no, because Brandy was here. Brandy, come around here. You're back. Come, come around here and finish what you were about to say. Oh, I was going to get their tickets. Oh, okay. Well, we're drawing one of the employees' names. Wait, 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 wait. You, right oh, we're now. just going to pull one of those three. Okay, so Brandy, who has already won the trip, <laughs> like, oh, crap. <laughs> has, been great, has been gracious enough. She is collecting the tickets from the three employees out of here Four. tonight. Four. Four. Who's the fourth one? Where's the... Where's the, in the back. Oh, he's in the back. Okay, so okay. the four employees. Wait, did you put the four in the bucket or is by... Just the four. Just the four. All right, so... Okay, this so is So hold exciting. on, hold on, hold on. Before, before you pull the <laughs> ticket... I want to finish explaining. Brandy has won this trip the first time we actually gave it away. Yep. She's been nice enough to want to re-donate it back so that the four employees here at Firehouse Subs 
each have a 25% chance of winning. So she's getting that she's got their tickets. One of these four work employees here at Firehouse Subs. And by the way, Michelle, if you're watching, just know a request for vacation time will be coming. <laughs> Took right. the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, so. Chief approved. Four tickets are in. Brandy, since you were kind enough to do this, you pull the ticket. <clears throat> and let's. They know their numbers, so that's okay. So bring it up here so we can announce it on camera, yep. if you don't mind. She is on camera. Oh, that's. Well, dun, dun, dun. Ah. All right. All right, well, I forgot. So come okay. around here. Let's call it off for the winner. Okay. Winner. Five, two, six. Yay! You're going to Cancun. We either we either have a winner or she stepped on a feather, one or the other. I'm not sure. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Very good. Congratulations. Now, where's the winning ticket? Let me have that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, come around, come on around, come on around. <laughs> she, that's right. This way Michelle knows why you'll be calling out for vacation time. And Michelle, she is still on the clock, so uh, that's right. take so care of her, please. So, Tennille, right, am I pronouncing that right? No relation to Captain Ann. Come on around behind us here so we can see on, on yeah, camera. Yeah, she doesn't even know who that is. I know exactly I know. who it is. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, that's good. So, congratulations. You excited? Now, the trip is good for two people, up to four, like two adults and two children. Oh but So who, who will you be, be bestowing the honor of going with you? Well, Chief. It's just me and two children. So, so you and your kids? There you go. Well deserved. All right. Awesome. Wow, so that's much. wonderful. All right, Bo. Oh, listen, so I'm going to need you to do, right as we get off, I'm going to need your full name, phone number, and an email, and I will have the folks get in touch with you in the next 24 hours. Oh so... Take my pen. Here's the ticket, if you would. Step off camera. Give me that information, and we'll get you set up. There you go. That Brandy, I have goosebumps. Well done, Brandy. Because you've donated it. Thank you, sister. To a single mom and her two kids ending up winning it. Good for you. Good job. All right. Thank you again. Thank you to everybody watching. We will be back at the end of, of what month? October. October. I think it was October 26th. For everybody, look. real Wait, quick. Wait, what's the date there? October 26th. 26. For everybody, real quick, this weekend, Junicon, Saturday morning, 9 o'clock. Thoughts count anywhere. Goes to two hours, folks. Whoop, That's whoop. right. Thank eight to, you. 8 to 9, Unsportsmanlike Conduct. Brett and I will be there. Then from 9 to 11 will be the casting. We've really extended the crew to sit in with Chief and Matt. I will start the show off. And then I will be uh, off and running. I will be on set in a tuxedo, fellas. So, you know, do your best to dress up if you can for me, all right? Uh, yeah, have right. to wear some kind of power play unicorn shirt. So on, on you're be overdressed. On, your, on and, your best day. And then Brett will jump on for a short time before he goes off. But then the Bruise Brothers, Nicholas and, and Thomas, will join them for the rest of the show. And then from 12 to 1, Neil will be hosting Twin Brothers from Different Mothers with guest... Frankie Citro. Hey, Aaron, am yes. I coming on 8 o'clock with you guys? Uh, What's that? Am I coming on 8 o'clock with you guys Saturday? You can if you want to. Right. You're our research crew. You have to. All right. And then 6 to 7, full tilt with Richard DeTore will be on as well, live from Unicon. You want to know anything and everything there is about successfully winning in a casino, you must tune in to that show at 6 o'clock. Friday at what time? Okay, what's the, what's the show? Las Vegas EX Foundation. Las Vegas EX Foundation. DX, is that uh, Clint and those guys? Cliff? Okay, Triple that's H, the, Shawn Michaels? That's, yeah, that's the ham radio folks that have, normally has a show on Wednesdays, but they're doing a show on Friday. Friday. Check Facebook for their time for that show. Any shows on Sunday? Do we miss anything? We're going to be going live. Right, we're going to be going live throughout the entire weekend. Hopefully we'll have strolling interviewers and Talk to people all around. And, and don't forget, we'll have the gorgeous glow ladies there this weekend. Colonel, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Tonight. We're so excited. Appreciate I hope it. everybody comes down to Unicon, the, the inaugural show. That's right. It's this the is the inaugural one. one. It's going to be really exciting. Absolutely. We want to thank everybody for making that happen. Uh, Chief, final thoughts. Everybody stay safe out there. Go Knights. Matt. 
Everybody come to Unicon, meet the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Greg the Hammer Valentine will be there. Jake Victoria. The Snake. Mil Muertes. Jake the Snake. Mil Muertes. There's going to be live wrestling, voice actors from your childhood. Aaron Phillips is going to be there. Everybody be there. <laughs> I'm going to be there. Aaron Phillips is going to be there. <laughs> Colonel. Unicon, baby. Thank and you. And yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. All right. I need, I need the Colonel to look into that camera and give us your best promo as to why people better show up at Unicon. She well, first of all, of course, because Ninochka will be there. But so many exciting things happen. But, you know, Las Vegas always loves to be the first. This is first ever Unicon. So you must be there. Don't be... Don't be square. <laughs> we I say something I different than Russia. In Russia. <laughs> I was, well, they have the red square. Don't be six feet under. No, we're going to be really excited to see everybody there. All right, right on. Be a part of history. Absolutely. All right, with that, we're going to sign off. We look. If you come around on Unicon, stop by, say hello to any of us. We'd love to know that you're out there. And you go live Vegas. This the we're going to be right there in the entrance. The Go Live Vegas here. By the way, take the moment right now. Download the Go Live Vegas mobile app, so that if you're not anywhere near the shows, you can at least listen to what's going on. So we'll be right there by the entrance. With that, I want to thank everybody here. I want to thank everybody for coming down tonight. I want to thank the folks here at Firehouse Subs. Once again, congratulations to Tennille. I'm Aaron Phillips. Looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend. Thank you to Aaron here at Go Live Vegas. Have a great week, everybody, from all of us. As always, be kind to everybody. Why is that? That's all We're we all we have. have. Thank you, everybody, for watching.